any different. But again, unfortunately, the Conservative Party have dropped the ball on this because the minimum service bill has been languishing in Parliament. For years. If they had any sense, they should have known this was an oncoming train. Mm. And instead, they left it too late. Like everything, they're leaving too late. Like the ECHR, they're leaving too late. Like tax cuts, they're the, leaving the, too late. The problem is that the, the, the finishing post is now 18 months away or so, and they're, they're going to try and create a different image for themselves. We're tough on this, we're tough on that. Having, having had Cameron and co, literally since 2010, actually saying, is there a deal to be done? Is there a deal to be done? It, there, there is a terrible price to be paid, and I think trust coming over the hill, I know you and I disagree about that, right? She was brilliant today, wasn't she? I, I, I am not oh, listening to anybody <laughs> who destroys our currency overnight. And she there's a load that. of people out there paying mortgages today entirely due to that halfwit. And she the idea that. that she is at the top of the Conservative Party and people are giving this idiot uh, oxygen... Publicity oxygen is ridiculous. Well, you need, did you read the 4,000 words? I didn't. I wouldn't read. Okay, I well, wouldn't well, read. Well, I wouldn't you know read what? a love letter from her. Do you her. know what? Go, fact, and, I definitely go and read the 4,000 words, and I think you'll have a different opinion. No, I won't have I a different opinion. You'll have a different I've opinion seen her action. She's stuff. now saying there's some lefty economists out there that have let me down. It is a ridiculous thing. She knows it's nothing. Terrifying. The I'm told in private she is fine. I'm told in private she's very flirty, very chatty. Everybody would like her at a dinner dinner party. In public, she was a disaster. But she admitted that, Calvin. She admitted today. Well, that, she's that, not a good right. communicator. And so ordinary people. But, but that doesn't mean that the economic establishment in this country should be able to railroad through a democratically elected prime Dan, minister. Dan, you haven't been on the old. You haven't been on the old job league again, have you? <laughs> the, the truth about the matter is that our economy cannot sustain another trust-type battering. Well, it also cannot sustain uh, the biggest tax burden. Since yeah, we, we have to pay. We have to pay for COVID, I'm yeah. afraid. Fleet Street legend, Calvin McKenzie, uncancelled as ever. Thank you, Calvin. We'll speak on Thursday night.